Welcome back, everyone, to Ferris Sports Update. Time to check in with Bulldog football now. And with us, head coach Tony Anise. And Coach, uh, welcome back. I know it's uh, the off season, uh, but certainly uh, not an off season in terms of recruiting. No, it, uh, we finished November 10th on the two point conversion to win the game with nine seconds to go at, in Marquette there at Northern Michigan. And it felt like uh, from that point till February 6th was a race. So happy to have it done with and uh, really in a good mood because I got to see our guys run around this morning and winter conditioning. So that's the next, next hurdle we face. Last Wednesday was National Signing Day, February 6th, as you mentioned, and a great group of, of recruits brought in by the Bulldogs. Yeah, really excited about our, our recruiting class. Uh, I thought from a, from a skill standpoint, we really improved, uh, really fit some of the, you know, the needs that we had. And, and so uh, all in all, I think we got a great group of guys and, um, you know, obviously getting them onto campus, you know, you spend all the time, you know, trying to be nice and, and, and do all the nice things you can do to to get them to come to Ferris, and then now reality sets in for them. <laughs> now they've signed with us, so now we can, we can go back and, and be tough on them and make sure that they're uh, doing the things they need to do to be, to be successful. Uh, obviously, your first uh, full year here, uh, complete now. Uh, talk about what you were able to sell uh, those recruits on in terms of Ferris State University. Well, selling the recruits, uh, first thing I sell them is, uh, you know, when you get onto campus, ask, ask people what they feel about Ferris State because, uh, the people I've talked with, um, you know, there's, there's just, uh, our students lo love, love the institution. And so, you know, that's an easy selling point, you know, and, and, and I don't think a, enough young people really, you know, do that, do that questioning. They, you know, they go and they, they may not, you know, assess the appalls of, of the campus community and see how much they, you know, they care about the institution. But here, you know, I, I think that's a big selling point. The second thing is, I just tell them we've got a great support system, uh, which we do. Um, we've got a great group of young men that we work with, and we got the right kind of people to help them get the things they want to, uh, you know, achieve in a, in a, in a four- or five-year um, college experience. And then the third, uh, you know, a great education and a great, uh, great football program. So, you know, we're, we're telling them that, you know, there's, there's a great opportunity to, to get a get a job right after you, you leave Ferris State and and uh, that's what we're known for is, is to you know go school to work quick and then uh, the second thing is we're on the rise as a football program. Your coaching staff obviously did a did a great job building relationships with some of those high school coaches uh, just just talk about their role in this and, and how important that was. Yeah the assistants did an, uh, uh, you know it was miraculous how hard they worked and so we you know we ran all over the place we went to some uh, junior colleges in Kansas Iowa California I went down to Florida to high school recruit some so um, you know running all over the place just giving great effort and uh, developing relationships with the young people who were uh, recruiting and you know really uh, spending some time with the high school coaches and and validating to them that you know we're the kind of people that would take care of the, their young people because ultimately you know it, it's picking a college but also it, it's uh, you know picking the right support system and, and if we're not the kind of people that are taking care of uh, the guys once they get here then obviously we're failing. You mentioned uh, the junior colleges and the out-of-state kids a couple junior college kids a couple from Florida but uh, the bulk of the class right here in Michigan uh, yeah. just, just talk about being able to get those kids from your own backyard. Well I think uh, I think it's huge. The, the first year we, we recruited, uh, I felt like, uh, you know, honestly, I felt like some of the other schools kind of had their pick at the kids. Now, it might have been the fact that we were late, but, uh, you know, I thought that, you know, so, some of them just kind of beat us to some kids. And, and this year, I think we beat them, beat, beat a lot of the others to, to some kids. So I thought we had our pick and then some kids that we really decided not to take. I see our signing with GLIAC School, so I kind of put, put a smile on my face because uh, two things, obviously Oscar went out and really identifying people early, but the second thing is our reputation um, throughout the state. Um, people are starting to believe that, you know, we're, we're gonna get it done here and, and they have the confidence that uh, we'll take care of the young men when they come here. And so all those things really were, uh, you know, I mean, they were very important in, in uh, you know, making sure that in an assessment that, that Ferris State's the right, right place for them, and that's awesome. How important was it for, for you to be able to have a, a year under your belt and them being able to see what you've been able to accomplish in your system here at well, Ferris State? Well, you know, I think uh, 
obviously we you know we we sold the fact we rushed for 306 yards a game and and so there were some selling points as far as progress we made but uh, you know we 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 to me we lost far too many games that we just gave away um, so hopefully it grows into a better situation I think people believe it, it will um, and so I think that's a big factor I think they saw some success but I also think they see the fact that uh, we're going to get significant success a great uh class in terms of balance of uh, 20 on the offensive side 15 right now on the defensive side and just just talk about that balance being able to fill uh, pretty much at every position yeah of the 20 you know we had four quarterbacks and of those four you know one of them probably uh, most likely can't play on the other side of the ball the other three can um, we've got some running backs that might play on the other side of the ball so when it says 20 to 15 it's, it's hard for us to identify exactly um, you know where they'll be playing but uh, you know, I think there is good balance. I think positionally, uh, first off, we've got the, the multi-dimensional athlete, and I said that a lot of times in the, in the press conference, but we've got the multi-dimensional athlete that can play two or three positions. And so, you know, that's an advantage because then they, they fit a need. They don't just, you know, they don't just plug into the position they can play. They're versatile enough where they can play two, three positions. That's huge. And then the other thing is I think that uh, – you know, we got some guys who, you know, can come fight right away for, for starting jobs. And, and I always tell people, you know, there's no entitlement on our team. And so, you know, what you did last year really doesn't matter to me too much. You know, you've got you to come to work every day. And if you get beat out by a freshman, you get beat out by a freshman. And obviously that leads me to my next question. Obviously some, some great kids here on paper, but now a chance for them to come in and challenge and, and compete for some playing time. Right. The, the advantage uh, the kids on campus have, obviously they're older, but I don't think that's as big a factor as they really know the standard of excellence, uh, the work ethic that we've established. And so what, what happened this morning, you know, before a lot of these high school kids are up, uh, you know, what happened this morning, it's, it's almost hard for them to be prepared when they come in August to, to know really how hard our guys are working the off season. So that's a big advantage for the guys here and knowing the system. But uh, we, we recruit some great athletes who should be able to come here and compete right away. Well, Coach, uh, we, we appreciate your time. I know you're, you're busy now winter conditioning, then on to spring ball. And before you know it, the fall will be here soon. Yeah, it, it goes fast. I appreciate it, Rob. A reminder, uh, we'd also like to remind fans you can visit ferrostatebulldogs.com for more information on this year's signing class. We'll be back after this with more.